Good morning. Hello, Piper. <laughs> oh, hi, darling. What have you got stuck on your head? There we go. <laughs> Good morning. Where's Big Wig? Where's Big Wig? Is he still sleeping in there? Is he? It's quite windy today, actually, isn't it? <laughs> Good morning guys, so I just wanted to do a little update right now on Bramley and Hazel. <laughs> Bramley has kind of isolated himself a bit, I think he is obviously going to take a while to come to terms with the new guinea pig. Um, he has been staying just in this corner a lot, but yeah, obviously it's quite a lot of stress for him. He's doing really well, they've actually not been doing had any teeth chattering or anything like that, they've just kind of... Um, been keeping out of each other's way which I suppose with how bonding can go I don't see that as a bad thing. It's a lot for them to take in really having just you know obviously him losing Roxy but then Hazel being taken away from the girls outside so it's all new for them and obviously it's gonna take quite a while. See she just she does occasionally go over to see him but Bramley just looks totally freaked out and he just tries to like pretend that she's not even there um, So yeah, that's interesting <laughs> So I didn't actually catch that on camera, but Hazel here does actually seem to be chasing Bramley a bit Which is interesting. I find normally it's the male which tends to be more dominant or show more aggression um, But she's just been chasing him around the cage. I'm reluctant to put a split cage back in because that really does can be very tricky to then reintroduce them again so I'm gonna just put loads of piles of hay in obviously it's still early days I was you know like I was just saying I was surprised nothing like that had happened yet um, and obviously you need to make sure that Bramley's not getting injured and no blood is being drawn or anything like that so we're just gonna put loads of hay piles in and hope that calms them down a bit So also what I wanted to point out, Bramley rather than fighting back, he is just sort of isolating himself, keeping up her way, which in a way can be good. The thing is if you have two sort of higher ranking guinea pigs trying to outdo, you know, the other one, then that can be tricky because that can involve a lot more blood being drawn, a lot more attacking and, you know, a lot worse injuries. So. It's very interesting that Hazel seems to be leaning towards the more dominant side. I can't really, I couldn't have really called that to be fair. The skinny pigs never fail to amaze me of how much mess they can produce. These guys were cleaned up last night and it's now about 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. It's absolutely insane. But yeah, for people wanting skinny pigs or just skinny pigs in general, this can be the reality. <laughs> we're going to do a fleece change now, get them looking smart again. It'll last about five minutes, but you know. It's always good to get that fleece change. <laughs> this is crazy, like I still am amazed that this is all from overnight. It was spotless last night. This is what I wake up to every morning. Thank you boys, thank you. <laughs> good job, you're super cute, isn't it? Yeah. Because look at all of that mess. I don't think I showed much of these guys in the last video. So this is Kanga, there he is, and Joey. They love their hanging toys as well, which the good thing about the bird cages I suppose is that you can add different heights and stuff. 
and um, they they do love their hanging toys so much. So I always try and get the skinny pigs to jump back up on the shelf and then I just carry them in on this, it's the easiest way to get them back in the cage, only it can be quite hard to get both of them up at the same time so we'll see if we can get, there we go, <laughs> I'm going to go carry them back now. So the cage is now nice and clean, at least for a bit, so I'm just going to put in the rest of the items like some more hay, I'm going to put in some cuddle cups as well, be nice boys. They'll settle down in a minute. <laughs> so yeah, I don't think I fully explained, but I did move the skinny pigs into the living world habitat just because I found the vivarium wasn't working very well for this time of year. I just find it's a lot easier to manage them in here, cleaning them and everything like that. It's just everything's like 10 times easier. So obviously Bramley and Roxy were in here at one point, but I moved them into a separate cage, obviously. And then now Bramley's with Hazel. So yeah, most of the things that have been happening have only really happened over these last few weeks. They haven't been in here for that long, but they do really like it in here. It just worked really well for them. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, they're loving it. They're already creating so much mess as we speak. So yeah, as long as these guys have got food, they're totally happy. Um. <laughs> the crazy thing is as well about skinny pigs, and probably explains why they poop so much and all of that, they will probably go through this in less than 24 hours. This is this would keep a massive herd of guinea pigs going normally, but with my two boys, the skinny pigs, this We'll be lucky to last till the evening, it will at least be half full. It's insane, but they eat so much hay. Unbelievable, but also amazing. And to find this hay rack does work really well for them, especially as they can eat off the top shelf if they want, or they can eat from the floor as well. <laughs> They're so cute. Bit of a miserable day here, to be honest. It has just been raining quite a bit quite a lot of people ask what I do with the rabbits and everything um, during when it's raining on everything like that to be honest the rabbits do find their own shelter and they'll sit under trees and stuff to keep dry they do have access to the shed at all times but they to be honest they choose to stay outdoors because you know they're hard enough they are used to this sort of temperature and the weather conditions and everything Piper is here right now so she's keeping dry under this tree. There she is. I find big wind tends to come inside when it's raining, but not always. Oh. I didn't actually talk much about Jasper in the last video. I don't think I actually talked about Jasper or Vinny at all, but they're both doing really well. Um, Jasper's actually been spending so much time in my bedroom. He's like, I feel like we've bonded quite a lot the last few months. You know, he's. He does um, choose to like, you know, come and see me all the time and he's, he's always in my bedroom. He just like loves it in here. Don't you? <laughs> so yeah, he's doing really well. He's so cute. Look at you. How are you doing? You've had a long walk this morning. Are you tired? Oh.
feel like you're up to no good. Vinny, you're not meant to have that blanket. Oh, okay, too late. <laughs> if I try and take it off him, he'll probably just rip a hole in it anyway, so. Oh dear, Vinny. <laughs> you really are quite comfy there, aren't you? So in this video, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to all of you guys who left really lovely comments on the last video. It really means a lot. And I've been reading through all the comments and I'm so grateful to still have that spot after it being so long. And in a way, it made me more excited to be back as well, just because, I mean, that's exactly, you know, the sort of community that I came back for because I know you guys are all so sweet and loyal and yeah, it just means a lot. So thank you and yeah, I think that's pretty much all I just wanted to say in this video. I didn't want it to go unnoticed because, you know, I have been checking all the comments and just it was really nice to have all that support so thank you so much um yeah <laughs>what I also wanted to show you guys was this box here which is the winter special um, I'll try not to drop it everywhere um, so this is the winter special treat box I've just sent out the last like four autumn ones and um, they seem to go down really well so yeah this is it I'm gonna show you a close-up in a minute I'll just show you what I've been making up today and um, so as you can see they're all behind me we've got pea flakes herbal blend here and um, organic dried carrot the wellness blend and uh, two oops, <laughs> two hamster ones the Syrian mega blend and they also order Syrian basic blend so these two um, lots of ones are gonna go by Korea I think uh, yeah by Korea and um, so yeah that's all <laughs> that I'm up to in here today. Finally caught up again, which is good. So, um, yeah, I just need to get packaging it up now and then I can book those to be collected tomorrow. We have, this is the main one this time, which is fairy magic. It's like a little wand, <laughs> like a, a chew and some herb in it as well. Got this one, golden baubles. Um, woodland selection, white Christmas is that one, and this one is the Winter Wonderland. So yeah, I'm really excited for these ones to come out because, you know, I feel like maybe it's a bit early for the winter one, but you know, everyone's in the spirit already, so <laughs> yeah, big wig's the feature in this one this time as well. Also, very quickly before this video ends, I just wanted to include this. How cute. This was so kindly given to me by one of you guys at the pet show last weekend. Um, it's such a lovely tribute to Roxy. This is Bramley here on the left and Roxy. And I just think, I mean, the detail's incredible. Like, how realistic though. And it just, like, you know, all the features have been done so well. Um, so... I'm still deciding where to put this, but, like, it's just so sweet, so, thank you to that. I'm really sorry, I don't know your name, who, um, who, the person who gave this to me, but thank you so much. I will be putting it somewhere where it will get seen a lot, because it's lovely, and it's just a nice way to remember Roxy. So, yeah, that's basically it. <laughs>